Now, here's your local South Mississippi news from CBS 22 News. I'm CBS 22's Edie Colbo. A recent arrest hasn't stopped one man from protesting the war in Iraq. That's our big story from the Pine Belt. William McLean and his wife Lynn spend the first Wednesday of every month protesting at the intersection of Highway 49 and Hardy Street. They've been doing it for two and a half years with no problems. But on March 5th, William was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, a charge he says was not warranted. CBS 22 talks with McLean about what he says really happened. Protesting the war is CBS 22's big story. William McLean and his wife Lynn have one simple request. They want U.S. troops fighting in Iraq to come home. We always try to re remain peaceful and, and two-thirds of the people respond positively. The McLean say their protest is a peaceful one, but on March 5th an officer pulled onto the scene and everything changed. CBS 22 has obtained this copy of the police report. It says McLean began to fuss at the officer and was loud enough to cause people to come out of a nearby restaurant. The report goes on to say McLean was placed into restraints for his safety and our safety. But McLean says it didn't happen like that. One of them arrested me when I said, uh, what are you going to do if I don't put down my signs? When he told me to put down my signs, he said to the other officers who were standing by their cars, I'm going to arrest this man. I asked him what law I was breaking, and he said, you're within 50 feet of an intersection. And I asked them to charge me with that charge, but what they charged me with was disorderly conduct. McLean appeared in court where it was decided the charges would be dropped as long as McLean has no more problems with the police within six months. But this isn't stopping the McLeans from protesting. No, no, we're going to persist. We're, we're out here for one hour every month. Go to WHLT.com for news anytime.